Hey, how's it going? Just just leaving work again here. Uh, I promised another update. I know you're all chomping at the bit. Uh, so that is something exciting happened. Uh, last week, Tesla had an announcement. No one knew what it really was. They said it was a product announcement. So some people were thinking of a brand new product, but it turns out it, I guess they considered it a product, but uh, they announced Autopilot 2. So this is really cool, uh, especially because uh, the announcement means that as of October 10th, all, new, all cars produced in the Tesla factory will include Autopilot 2. So, lucky me, I didn't even expect this, but magically, uh, because Tesla is so wonderful, I get the new, brand new hardware so that my car will be fully autonomous as soon as the software is ready. Um, actually, as soon as it's validated. So, so anyway, basically the Autopilot 1 hardware had a single camera in the front, and then of course it had the rear view camera, but that was only used for, um, you know, for when you're in reverse. It wasn't actually part of the Autopilot system. Uh, so, and then of course there's a bunch of sensors around the car already. So the new hardware is eight total cameras. So there's three in the front, behind the rear view mirror, and each one of those is for a different distance uh, in front of the car. There's the rear view camera, which uh, is now going to be used with as part of the autopilot system. And then the uh, there's two cameras in the front, which are uh, in the uh, side uh, markers, the turn signals, the little Tesla logos on the side of the car right below the front mirrors. There's a couple cameras, um, one camera on each side there. And then in the pillar, the B pillar, I guess, between the front and rear window on each side, there's a camera there. So the total is eight cameras. So you can get a 360 view of the car at all times with these cameras. And uh, in addition to that, they have now 12 ultrasonic sensors all around the car. So they can sense a complete circle around the car. I guess it's not really a circle, probably more of an oval, basically it's shaped like the car. But uh, it should go, I think they said three meters out from the car all around. So that, that's where, you know, sensing close proximity, I don't, uh, things like cars in the lane next to you and stuff like that. Uh, in addition, there is a new or upgraded radar in the front, and that's sort of under the grill uh, in the front of the car at the bottom. And uh, I'm, I don't remember precisely what is different about that, but it's been upgraded. Uh, so in theory, it'll probably have better resolution or something along those lines. And what's really cool about this, and this already exists in Autopilot 1 hardware, but uh, through a software update, they updated, updated it so that the radar can actually see underneath the car in front of you and see the car in front of that car. Uh, and it can determine when that car is slowing down and then it will obviously brake if appropriate. Uh, so it doesn't even necessarily rely on the car in front of you. Of course, it's checking both, the one in front of you and the one in front of that one, and it will decide what to do uh, based on that. So that's very cool, I thought. Really smart to bounce underneath the car in front of you. It's kind of crazy. So <laughs> that's one of the great things about Tesla. It's just they continually upgrade their product. Um, they don't wait for like the next model year to come out to sort of convince you to upgrade or buy a new car. Of course, they would like that, but they release new features and updates as soon as they're available. And they're constantly upgrading the factory process to make it more efficient and to fix issues that they can find. So it's just really awesome to get this new feature set that I wasn't expecting. So the uh, only potential downside is that the autopilot is going to be disabled on these new cars from the start. So new cars shipping, you know, that are shipping now, leaving the factory now, have the new hardware and they will not have any autopilot features. Uh, that's because obviously there's all new hardware, so they need to write new software or at least update the existing software to handle the new hardware. And uh, they said they wanted basically run this in shadow mode so it'll be it'll be still monitoring monitoring everything the road everything going around the car around the car um, at all times and they'll be sending you know information back to Tesla so that Tesla can sort of verify the findings and what the system is interpreting. So uh, they said that should take about two months 
Um, once that's done, they will release a new software update in uh, December, and that will enable autopilot on version two hardware. So it's not really a huge deal for me since uh, I'm not getting my car until December anyway. So I, I don't know if I'll, it's possible that I'll get my new car and autopilot will already be enabled. So that would be cool. Uh, either way, uh, I'm not that worried about it, even if I have to wait a while for it to be enabled. I think it's going to be awesome, regardless. Um, so along with this update, they've got basically gotten rid of the original autopilot, which is just, um, uh, you know, the 1.0 sort of software, I guess, that you could purchase with your, when you buy your Tesla, and they replaced that with what they call enhanced autopilot. Uh, and that's the standard autopilot features, such as, you know, keeping you in your lane, uh, and the automatic uh, cruise control that watches the cars in front of you, and automatically changing lanes, etc., those sorts of things. Uh, and then they also are adding another package which enables the full autonomy. So there's two new packages, the enhanced autopilot and full autonomy. So right now, or not even right now, but in December when they release the autopilot for this new hardware, um, that won't enable the car to be fully autonomous at that point. So there's another package that you, that you buy if you want that feature, although it's not ready yet, so it could be another six months before that's ready, um, or even maybe the end of next year. So that's something you can always upgrade later, which is another awesome thing with Tesla, is you can upgrade your car throughout the years uh, if you choose to do so. So, very cool, uh, and on their website, uh, tesla.com slash autopilot, they have some great information about this, and they have a little diagram that shows the car that is basically like really, really tiny, it's like pinpoint, uh, and then around that is an illustration of all of the cameras and the sensors and how far out each of, each of those can see around the car. So it really puts it in perspective, because uh, some of these cameras can see really far uh, ahead of the car, for instance. It's very cool. Uh, also on that page, they have a video uh, they released which shows a Model X being driven, basically driving itself and driving its owner from home to work. And the, the person in the car is never touching the wheel or interacting with the car. They literally get in the car in their garage. And the car pulls out and drives them to work. So it's, it's really awesome because it shows it handling um, stop signs stop lights, it shows it merging into traffic and changing lanes, it shows it uh, drop the, actually it shows it drop the person off at work at the front door and then the car continues on itself to go find a parking spot alone. And during that portion there, someone happened to, happened to walk in front of the car and the car is smart enough to realize that and stop, let the person cross and then continue. I think there were a couple of other caveats I read about in that video. Um, one being that the car was smart enough to not park in, in one of the spots it passed because it realized it's not actually a parking spot or it was a uh, handicapped spot or, or something like that. Um, but it does actually apparently read the signs in the parking spots as well to see if they're actually spots. Um, and then it eventually finds a spot and it parallel parks by itself and that's basically it. So when you're when you're done working the idea is you just you know you're underway leaving your desk you just summon your car using your app on your phone and it will just be outside when you get there. The temperature will be set, it'll be ready to go, you hop in the driver's seat and it will just take you home or wherever you want to go. So it's pretty amazing. There's also some other thoughts on that in the future. Tesla's planning on releasing um, not releasing, they're planning on starting up sort of their own Uber. So in theory, your car, while you're at work, could go um, do Ubering for you and go pick up people, drop them off where they need to go, and make money for you while you're working. So it's really a different way of thinking and very interesting. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so that was uh, the big update. That was I was really excited to hear that because, again, I had no idea. Um, I was worried about placing my order because I know that Tesla constantly is upgrading their cars and releasing new hardware, uh, so I was kind of concerned that I'd miss out on Autopilot 2, but it's awesome that it just happened out, happened to be released just after I placed my car, and I will definitely have it in my car, so very cool, and I'm really excited about it. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. That was that update. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or any anything I should cover as I uh, build the build the Tesla diaries out a little bit more. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, subscribe, like, you know, thumbs down if you didn't like it, whatever. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, how's this viewing angle? Is it looking all right? I got some complaints in my last video from some of my biggest fans, uh, long running fans, and uh, they, were, they were saying the angle's not so good. So I tried this different location for my phone, uh, see if that's a little better. So let me know in the comments if you like it or if you don't like it or if you think I should just wear a bag over my head. Uh, just, just let me know and I'll be happy to oblige. All right, see you next time.